guys, welcome back to my channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be my March book haul, and I'm super excited to share these books with you. I did purchase three books on my own, so I'm going to share those with you first. So, for those who don't know, I was recently in Nashville, Tennessee with my pastor and my bishop. Um, doing some ministry work and we were able to stop at Lifeway. I went to Lifeway just because I work with them with their B&H books, uh, I guess, publishing company as well as with Lifeway. And I wanted to visit the, you know, headquarters. Why not? So I went, they was having a sale and I got three books. I actually bought more than three books, but one of those books are not like Christian based. So I'm not going to share that with you guys. So I'm just going to share the three that I have that are Christian based. So the first one I actually paid full price for, and it's by Misu Andrews. It's called The Pharaoh's Daughter. I know that Jenna Van Mowert here on YouTube, she raves about this book so much. And I do own the sequel, which is called Miriam. I don't want to read that without reading this first, so I'm going to read this. I'm excited that I got this. All that I know is that this is set in the time of Moses when he was a baby, when the Pharaoh's daughter found him in the basket inside of the water. That's all that I know, and I just want to go into this blind, so I'm excited to give this one a go. I've been finding that I actually do enjoy Misu Andrews' writing, so I'm stoked to have another one of her books to add to my collection. The next book is called Slender Reads. It's Jochebed's Hope. It's by Texi, Texi Susan Gregory. I think that's how you say the name. But um, I did not pay full price for this, thankfully. I did pay $6.97 for this. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Jochebed is Moses' mother. So this is another story that's centered around Moses in a sense. And I'm excited to dive into this. I really just love the cover. The cover is, like, stunning to me. But, um, yeah, it's biblical fiction. The last book I got from Lifeway is more of Christian fiction. I'm not sure if this is going to lean more sci-fi, dystopian, or fantasy. I don't know. I'll put exactly on the screen exactly what they categorize this as. But... It is Christian, obviously, and it is The Valley of the Dry Bones by Jerry B. Jenkins. I know that The Valley of the Dry Bones, that scripture actually comes from the book of Ezekiel, and I've heard it plenty of times. It's even been ministered to me a few times, funny enough. So I figured I wanted to get this a go. It looks really interesting. I love the cover, how it's like the cracked ground with the little bits of water. Really pretty, so I'm excited to dive into this and give this a go. Then we have... Our Daily Bread, obviously. So the first thing I have from Our Daily Bread Ministries um, is going to be this DVD, and it's called The Seven Churches of Revelation. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's about the seven churches of Revelation. And I figured I could watch this when I study the book of Revelation soon. So, um, yeah. It is a seven-part series with bonus features. Um, each program is about 25 minutes each. So I'm excited to dive into this and learn more about the churches of Revelation. Then, obviously, I got the cute little booklets. So I have two from Discovery Series. This one is called Biblical Med Meditation, Developing a Heart for God by David Beatty. I'm not sure if I hold these already, so I'm just going to reshow them. <laughs> and then this one is called I Am the Way, The Amazing Claims of Jesus by Jack K. I'm not going to butcher his name, so yeah. I got this uh, kind of devotional. It's a, yeah, it's a devotional for moms. It's called Be Still, Daily Encouragement for Moms. I am a mom, and I just thought the cover was cute. So I got that. And lastly, I got this. Now, I had an art copy of this, so it's always great. I don't know what it is with art copies. I like having an art and a finished copy, um, especially when I've already read it. Um, so this one is by Liz Curtis Higgs. This is 31 Proverbs to Light Your Path. So she has this one, and she also has another one called 31 Verses to Remember or keep on your heart or something like that i have an arc of that so i'm hoping to get a physical like finished copy of it but i have this it is christian nonfiction, um and it's based on scriptures so i'm excited to dive into this again the next book i got for a sort of bookstagram tour if you will and it's called glory road by lauren k denton this is a christian fiction contemporary romance if i'm not mistaken i think there's some romance to this but don't quote me on it but i'm gonna say there's romance in here but I know for a fact that this is contemporary, it's clean, and I'm excited to dive into this. The next book is more on the sort of historical side. It's historical romance. Um, I'm not much of a fan of historical at all. I, I don't care for historical, but it is Christian. It's clean, so I figured I would give it a go. This is set in um, 1895. Yeah, 1895. I think this takes place in Atlanta. Don't quote me on that, but it's called A Silken Thread. It's by Kim Vogel Sawyer, and I did receive this from Waterbrook and Mount Noma for a blog tour, or not blog tour, but for a review launch team kind of thing to do. This comes out April 2nd. So yeah, you should probably get your hands on this because it comes out the day that I'm actually posting this video. So yeah. <laughs> 
The next book I received for Block Tour as well, and this was a book that I already had an arc of because I did a Block Tour before for that. But no, I actually did a launch team for that, and um, that was not too long ago. So the fact that I now have a finished copy of it plus a personal letter from the author, like she wrote a personal letter, um, I thought that was cool. So it's going to be The Brave Art of Motherhood, Fight Fear, Gain Confidence, and Find Yourself Again by Rachel Marie Martin. I do have an art. I hauled it before. I have a finished copy. Can't wait to reread it and see if they have changed up a few of the notes or points in this book. Um, I think as a mom, I do have, I, I am a mom of a five-year-old. So I think as a mom, this was a really great read for me. Um, and it came at the time that I needed it. So I am going to be rereading it to see if I still have the same thoughts and feelings. The next two books are from Baker Publishing, obviously, and these are both from Baker Books, which is a division of Baker Publishing. But um, this is called Assured, Discover Grace, Let Go of Guilt, and Rest in Your Salvation by Greg Gilbert. I think this is super, super cute. I love the cover. It's a really thin book, so this is definitely going to be a quick read. But I feel like even though it's a thin book and it's a quick read, this is going to be very much heavy on the reading. So we'll see. I just, I really love it, and I just love the seal on it with the cross. Super cute, so I can't wait to dive into this. The other one that I got is called The Power of Christian Contentment, Finding Deeper, Richer, Christ-Centered Joy by Andrew M. Davis. Here is the cover. It's really pretty. And I got this and requested it because my word of the year is peace. And with peace, you have contentment. So I figured this would be a good one to kind of read and study when I am doing my kind of like topical study on peace and contentment in the Bible. So got this and the cover is stunning, obviously. The last three books I got from B&H Books, which works with Lifeway, I did do five books from them. Two of them are not here. One is actually going to be arriving the day that this video goes up, and then the other one is on back order. Um, so I don't have those, so you'll see those two books in my April book haul, but these three I can show you now. So this first one is called Sick of Me by Whitney Capes. It's from Transparency to Transformation. This is a Christian nonfiction, obviously, and it sounds really interesting. I just love the idea of you being sick of yourself because I know we've all come to the point in our lives when we were, like, sick of ourselves and we wanted to um, have a kind of transformation spiritually. So I am excited to dive into this and see what it's all about. This next one is called... Open Door Living by Jen Schmidt. Easy ways to share the gift of hospitality. I love this book because there are recipes in here. Let me see if I can find one of the recipes. Okay, so I just had to find the recipe. So there are recipes, like I said. There's a perfect party pork, easy beat barbecue chicken, um, and other like things. It's like checklists. Um, there's a two ingredient homemade sherbet and uh, easy ravioli bake. There's just so much, and there's, like, so many cute photos. I love the typography in here. So, it's a really cute read. This is definitely one of those kind of coffee table books, um, but because it is a recipe book, I am going to keep this with my other recipe books and knock some of these recipes out for myself and try them down the line. Who knows when? But um, I really just love the watercolor feel and the cloth kind of material on this book. It's really pretty. So we have this one. The last book I have is one that I got from Dorina Williamson. And my son actually adores her book. She has Colorful and as well as Thoughtful, which I do own both of those. We read these. They're amazing. This one is called Graceful. Um, and I can't wait to read this with my son and by myself. I, I don't know what it is. I do like reading like little kid books sometimes when I feel like I'm overwhelmed with reading so many Christian nonfiction books and like my secular books. Sometimes I just want to read something that's lighthearted, fun, and whimsical, um, but still has a good message. And that's what these books are. The artwork in these books are stunning. And this is illustrated by Geneva B, so you guys know. But like the artwork in the illustrations is amazing. Here is the author. And the illustrator here and I love that she always uses different illustrators for her books so um, again the other books are colorful and thoughtful what I like is that at the end of her book she has this parent kind of connection section where you have things that you can remember um, about reading it and then things to think about that you can discuss with your, your, your children and my son and I we love to have interactive reading times um, you know sometimes I'll let him take the book and though he can't pinpoint every word I'll tell him to tell me a story based on the pictures so he'll go look into the pictures and make up crazy interesting stories but um, yeah I'm excited for this book to read it for myself and with my son and just to see you know what it's all about just this is pretty but yeah so those are all the books that I got for the month of March. Probably we'll have a lot more in April. We'll see because I have a lot of books that are still not here yet that are on the way here. So yeah. 
Um, but other than that, if you want to see a review on any of these books, let me know. I can get that done for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. Links to every book is down below to Amazon. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!